it seems to be having um, a partial impact, right? So on the one hand, the climate change and um, all that we're doing to um, accelerate that kind of um, dramatic climate change in terms of, um, you know, the, um, the um, breaking away of the glaciers and um, all of that. So on the one hand, clearly the economic growth is something that is accelerating and making more acute um, all of that. On the other hand, I think there is a kind of um, denial about the fact that there is this clear correlation between economic growth and climate change. Um, if it is acknowledged, sometimes it is really put at the doorstep of developing countries, right? So um, I'm tired of every time China and India uh, get to be cited as the reason why so much of the oil or so much of the uh, reserves are really being used at such a rapid rate. Well, you know, these places are growing, they're growing economically, they're growing in population. And so, so therefore they're depleting the resources um, quicker and therefore we're getting this kind of climate change. You know, the consumption is still primarily in the US and Western Europe. Even though demand is going up in China or in India, it's not outpacing, that's not the problem. The problem is the fact how consumption is so unequally distributed across these places, right? And so there is that consumption, economic growth, climate change, there is a particular kind of circular argument that occurs over here. Um, so it's either um, not acknowledged or if it is acknowledged, it is placed at the doorstep somewhere else. And, you know, we don't get that kind of um, uh, intense soul searching or um, even in terms of businesses. I mean, if you think about um, certain political and economic lobbying groups in the U.S. that are really against the sort of, um, you know, um, part of what was agreed in, in terms of Kyoto and other places mm -hmm. that are actually militating against those kinds of agreements. Um, you know, I think that's a, it, it becomes a complicated way of thinking about economic growth, uh, climate change. Um, on the one hand, it's exacerbating it. On the other hand, it's sort of creating new rhetoric, which is not really acknowledging where the problem is coming from.